Hi everyone and welcome back to Gear Z, the sim racing podcast. I hope that you had a great Christmas and I wish you a happy new year as we reach the last episode of 2024. So as you can imagine, we're going to talk about the games for next year, my expectations and probably some of the DLCs. But as you know, Pose a Roll Coaster that 2023 and I think didn't leave quite the expectations. We know that Game of the Year will be Forza. It's hard to ignore that, but I think we received great titles as WRC, eSport and Crew Motorfest that bring that Forza Horizon-esque experience to the PlayStation community. But let's hit the rewind button and jump in what we gather here. Fast forward 2024 and the roadmap for the year looks nothing short of spectacular, on the paper at least. The game list is stacked with potential promising, a year that can be a gamer's dream. So first, let's hit the anticipated Le Mans Ultimate. As you know, Studio 397 and Motorsport Games are the masterminds behind that game, possibly will be the safe boat for the company. Le Mans Ultimate is official game of the FIA World Endurance Championship and the 24 Hour of Le Mans. We'll have the pleasure to drive and to witness the cutting edge technology of the latest hypercars from the 2023 season. And of course, we'll come some DLCs, but you know, Toyota, Ferrari, Porsche, Cadillac, Peugeot, Klinkenhaus and Van Hal are here. So expect to challenge your skills on the legendary circuits as Monza, Spa, Franconsharp, Sebring, Bahrain, Portimão, Fuji and the iconic circuit La Sarque at Le Mans. So whether team up in co-op mode, multiplayer or facing against AI opponents, players are in for a Le Mans experience like never before when this game launches on February 20, exclusive it for PC. We know that Assetto Corsa 2 is coming, but wait, here my bet, I'm putting it for a late release in 2024 or possibly even in the following year. Why the caution optimism? Well, history has taught us to be a little bit skeptical. Kunos, despite their proven track record, they are a very good game development progress. They face challenge with Assetto Corsa competition during its beta phases and initial release, so they don't want to repeat the same missteps and we can expect them to aim for more seamless and polished experience right out of the gate. I think the details from Assetto Corsa 2 are still under wraps, there's a buzz about expectations with the modern community as we know, and we know the recent DLCs releases for Assetto Corsa competiciones probably make my safe bet even shine a little bit. Speaking in safe bets and upcoming titles, let's rev out our engines for Rensport, a sim racing game that promises a truly realistic and enjoyable driving experience on PC. Developed by the competition company Swiss AG, Rensport has generated excitement for its commitment to their ultra realist and share fun. Tough specifics about the gameplay and feature are somewhat scarce. The close beta already gives us a glimpse into the promising aspects. Rainsport is meticulous design featuring laser scan real life motorsport tracks for unparalleled details. Initial slated for release by the end of 2023, the gaming community received a delay announcement followed by the release of Rainsport Beta 1.6 on November 24 this year. As anticipate builds, we eagerly wait for more insights into Rainsport gameplay mechanics, graphics and the overall reception as the release date approach, get ready for a virtual ride that aims to redefine the standards of sim racing. Pista Motorsport is an exclusive Argentine simulation platform that's been steadily gaining traction in its development journey. This racing simulator not only introduced dynamic weather to amp out the realism, but is already making waves in the super close beta version. The buzz around this simulator is evident in sim racing news and is proudly listing among the racing games to eagerly anticipate in 2024. But now let's shift gears to GT Revival, a title that's been buzzing in the sim racing community more on the Twitter or X as you call. Its release date remains uncertain, speculation lends towards a potential drop in 2024, but I think it might hold out for a grand entrance in 2025. The game is the brainchild of Iron Bell, as you know, and if history touches, an indication of its promises are something extraordinary as always. From what we have seen and sneak peeks on X, the colors and the graphics are nothing short of spectacular, truly a feast for the eyes, however the use of Unreal Engine 5 adds an element of unpredictable to the racing game landscape. 
as observed in other titles. The big question remains, will GT Revival eat the virtual tracks in 2024? Or will it rev the engines for a grand entrance in 2025? All in time will tell, but the excitement among gamers is potable. Strap it for a potential ride into the future of the sim racing simulations. Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown, making a triumph return after 12 year hiatus in the racing genre. Published by Neko and developed by the Kitty Racing, this sandbox title is not just a racing sim, it's a lifestyle. Returning to the world of luxury sport cars and high end living, Solar Crown revamps the city for the modern age. The freedom of progress as you wish and the classic open championship concept make a comeback. The game encouraged players to embark on a thrilling exploration while cruising the streets set in an open world Hong Kong designed to a scale of one by one. So players will compete in the Solar Crown event for glory and riches, with a variety of sport cars to choose from a realistic outdoor environment featuring distant locales. Unlimited Solar Crown is set to hit the gaming scenes in the Key 1 2024, available for PC, PS4, Xbox One, PS5, Xbox Series X and Nintendo Switch platforms. Next one has to be the off-road adventure in Expeditions, a mode runner game, a spin-off developed by the Saber Interactive. So, you know, challenge journey across muddy and harsh terrain in variety of outdoor biomes. In this sandbox simulation world, players will embark on enriching scientific journeys, navigating nature trials and uncovering the mystery of undiscovered territories. Traversing vast deserts, dense forests and towering mountain range players will encounter concealed treasures and exiled ruins. The published games is set to release on March 5, 2024, available for PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series and Nintendo Switch. So get ready probably for one of the best off-road experience from the year. Japanese Drift Master, a captivate open world racing game that pays homage to the rich automotive culture and the land of the rising sun. So, we know expecting GDM locations inspired by real life towns and places across Japan, offering an authentic and visually stunning experience. From monumental temples to traditional houses and quaint shops to the breathtaking Aikama Lake, surrounded by the towering mountains, the game captured the essence of the Japanese beauty. So embark on exploration of different districts like Yakamayaka and Yakamoni, each encapsulating the tranquil allure of the Japanese countryside. The game is a perfect backdrop for accelerating the Rift experience and I think will deliver an unmatched racing thrill. So GDM, Japanese Drive Master, is not just about speed, it's about style. So achieving high scores by mastering the art of drifting on your bands, combining driftings and maintaining your car at the highest possible angle. Ideal for those that want to fully immerse themselves in the Japan automotive culture. So I think this game will be one of the best unforgettable racing experience of the year. In more of the sim cage and arcade is a lot of games that I would like to mention. Overjump Rally is relieving the glory of the arcade racing games in Rally, an official remake of Sega Rally from the 90s powered by Unreal Engine 5. This game brings stunning graphics, nostalgic music and intuitive controls to a new generation of racing enthusiasts. Hot Lap Racing is another one, a more simcade racing experience that is featuring an in-house racing physics engine developed specifically for the game. It takes you to a journey through the history of motorsport from the GT and the prototypes to historic Formula 1. Race against friends or compete online against a large pool of players. The game is built to be released on the Switch and of course on the PC. We cannot forget about F124, while details still under wraps, we know that F1 and eSports will develop another game and a lot of people suggest Forza Horizon 6 could be part of the conversation for the games on this year. We can always mention a little bit more arcade games as Micro Machines, Drive Rally and EVA Road 66 Simulator. 2024 roadmap looks no short and amazing, we'll have games that go for the sim racing hardcore experience to the most arcade ones, so I think the year will promise a lot. While the lineup of games released is undeliable and impressive, what truly stands out is probably the commitment that continuous updates will come to the games released last year's and on the previous ones. iRacing remains the steadfast contender with the assurance of a new season, additional car tracks and a proven record of evolution spanning over a decade. 
Race Room has undergone a significant transformation with this last update, offering a fresh look. Despite not being a graphical masterpiece, the introduction of a new tire model and the support from DTM and other German series ensured a steady flood of content probably for next year. As you know, Assetto Corsa Competition, as we already mentioned, will be released the new GT2 pack and the arrival of Nubering North Rive will might lead to a delay on the launch of Assetto Corsa 2, as I will say, but I think Assetto Corsa Competition will continue to receive some updates and will not be forget. But let's not overlook the excitement surrounding about WRC, where my expectations are firmly placed to anticipate more announcements to come, and I will not expect a typical early release as you see on the F1 series, so I foresee a continuous evolution in the EA WRC experience. Following the remarkable 1.5 update of Automobilista 2 or AMS 2, is poisoned to deliver even more exciting in the coming year. After the so well received historical packs, I will think they will continue on that route, so expect more of that to come, but of course, don't overlook the titans in racing gender. GT7 for the games and the crew motor fest, which expect to weave new treats in the fabric of our game experience. The road ahead is paved with thrilling updates and releases promising to keep us glued to the tracks and the screens. And that's it, I think I drop all the games that I expect to come release, of course, titles of MotoGP for sure will come, I say the F1 series will continue, there's a lot of unknown titles that will come, a lot of titles that I didn't mention that I don't know for sure what to expect of them. Of course, this is my list, so guys, let me know on the comments what you think and what you don't think about that. Remember, hit the like button and thank you to all the patrons that make this podcast continue shining. And of course, remember, subscribe to the channel. See you guys and have a happy new year.